This, this house I'm standing in front of was, was a pretty big disaster because it basically we had to gut out the whole basement. The people can't live here uh, until it gets all cleaned up. And it's, it's just a lot of problems. Uh, the roof leaked and got some mold in the upstairs. The wall of the basement's got a crack in it. It's leaking, so it's, it's got a lot of problems that, that just happened this, this spring. And so it, it's going to need some attention to, so, it, so it can be cleaned up, put back together, and people can move back in. But it, it's a long process when it gets this bad. We, uh, we do uh, mold remediation and uh, flood mitigation. And this has been a busy year. Um, a lot of different places have had water problems more, uh, more than once. And a lot of people didn't take uh, enough care of their house and didn't have it professionally dried and professionally cleaned. And so now all of a sudden, six months later or four months later, they smell musty in their house. And we start by pulling off some trim and usually you'll see mold behind the trim because it's where a mold sandwich, all the water just stays there in the insulation. It should be pulled or the drywall cut off the bottom of it. But it's been a, a busy, busy year. Well, a lot, of, a lot of people just put some fans down and tried to dry their basement out. And, and uh, the trim is, I call it the mold sandwich. That's where two uh, layers come together and it doesn't dry out for months. And so we have uh, a mold spore meter and we have mold air testing that we can send to the lab that we can come in your house and just do a test to see if there's a problem there. And if there is, then we need to find out where it's at, what room it's in, and, and how to uh, progress with that. It's cheaper to dry it out the first time than it is to come later on and have to tear out stuff. Here in uh, Mercer County, there was a couple floods, a tornado, lots of rain, lots of water. And you could be in the area and maybe not been, your house not tore down, but there may be some leak, especially in a finished basement where you can't really see. And when you go there, it's proactive just to come in and do some air sampling just to see if there's anything there. And if we test every room and, and uh, compare it to the outside, if it's 10 times higher, and higher on the outside than the inside, then that's a problem. Then we've got to start looking. We have like thermal imaging cameras and stuff where we can detect moisture and stuff behind the, the walls. And then we, we can pull off some trim, just take a look and see, maybe cut the drywall under the trim so it doesn't really tear up the whole room. We just, we just need to look to make sure because on outside walls especially, you got insulation in there that can hold that water for a year. So it, it's best to be proactive to uh, literally have it checked or you know, somebody come in with a moisture meter, just check around just to see if there's anything on the walls or behind the trim. So this, this house we're in front of right now had flooded. Uh, there was a window well, an ex like an escape window well, a big window in the house, and the water got so deep in there that it blew in the window. Well, there was about three foot of water in there for quite a while because the people were out of town. Well, when we got here, it looks nice, but we got down to the basement, they had a, a company come in and pump it out, and it was just black everywhere. I mean, ceiling, walls, everything has to come out of it. It got mold upstairs on the cabinets, on the trim, walls, and it was probably the, some of the worst ones we've ever seen. And basically what we do is we tear out all the drywall, we treat all the wood, uh, we can leave the studs there, uh, they're going to have to have furnace work, they're going to have to have electrical work because a lot of the outlets were underwater. Um, this was a severe case that it didn't get taken care of right away. So uh, taking out all the drywall, taking out ceilings, uh, taking out the bathroom that was downstairs, um, the furnace will have to be replaced, water heater. Um, there's just so much to do there because the upstairs all has to be cleaned. So we're gonna clean it all and uh, gut out the basement. And then uh, we're gonna fog the whole house with our Decon 5, which is a 
which is a, uh, it's a whole uh, product that was uh, developed for the military. So it kills molds and funguses, it kills viruses, bacteria, it kills VOCs, it kills odors. It'll even kill insects and its larvae if it can touch them. So it's a really complete, and it's biodegradable and non-toxic. So we use that on all kinds of uh, applications. Uh, it can be done in daycare centers, it can be done on school buses, it can be done in locker rooms, and it's a lasting, it's a lasting coating. It has a surfactant in it that helps coat the stuff. So once we get done uh, fogging it with the Decon 5, then everything will be ready to put back together. Our biggest uh, probably uh, jobs are in crawl spaces, uh, and this year especially because of the real estate market's so hot that nobody gets their crawl space inspected before they, the home inspector comes in and then he finds the mold and then, well then they want it done in a week and we're really backed up this year. And You really should be proactive on that too. You should go down in your crawl space or have somebody home inspect it before you list your house so you know what you're in for because a crawl space that's really bad that hasn't been uh, taken care of can be ten to twenty thousand dollars to repair so you need to know that before you list your house so you know you know where you're at with your house to be able to sell it because once that home inspector finds the mold in the crawl space then you're not going to sell it till you get it fixed so um, and just uh, attics and crawl spaces that's our biggest two things we do and this year because of the cold cold winter if your ventilation's not good in your attic you're going to have mold in your attic so that's a whole thing ventilation and moisture that's what mold grows and we've seen so many different types of mold this year that that I've never seen before so um, most of the molds we see is aspergillus penicillium that's a big group of molds it can be black white green yellow orange and that usually um, is what growing in the uh, crawl spaces in the attic we very rarely, we've done a lot of air testing over the years, we very rarely see black mold, this uh, stacky mold, but the aspergillus is black too. So people see black and see mold, they just kind of mistake it for black mold, but it's really aspergillus penicillium. And that's basically the chemical we use to spray on to kill that and help take the staining. Uh, this chemical will actually take the staining out of the wood so it makes it look like new wood again. Uh, I would say 90% of the time it comes out of the wood. Uh, and then we fog it with that Decon 5 and that helps keep it from coming back. And we have another product called Gone for Good that we can kind of paint spray it on. It's kind of a greenish tint to it, but it will, um, they guarantee the mold won't come back for 10 years. So that's a good product. It's more expensive, but it takes longer to do. But it's a good product to do. Um, can't say enough about the Decon 5 because all the different things we do with it. And uh, it's good for pet odors. I mean, it's good for smoke odors. There's uh, so many things you can do uh, with the Decon 5 that we didn't do with ozone for some years. Uh, we, we did ozone for 20 years and I thought I would never stop doing ozone but with this Decon 5, we haven't used it for about a year and a half. So um, it's a very good product. We did a lot of testing because it sounded too good to be true. And we found that doing the testing, the air testing, sent them to the lab, it did exactly what they said it would do. It's, it's important that you have uh, somebody that's in the business to do this or a professional to, to clean the mold and to treat it and to uh, coat it. Because there's a lot of people Contractors especially get in trouble because they they will take care of the mold. They pull it up and they they put some kills on it, which that doesn't kill it. So it really just after a while it starts coming through the paint. So it's it's best to have somebody that can test it to know what they're what what they're dealing with and how you're going to proceed to kill the mold and keep it from coming back. And when we use a Decon Five, uh, the regular. It is a two-year guarantee as long as you, your crawl space doesn't flood and sit there, you know, but it has a two-year guarantee on the mold can't come back. When you're selling your house, it's, it's really important to have it checked before you put it on the market so there isn't any surprises. I mean, we go in and we can 
clean up a crawl space. We can put a new vapor barrier down. Uh, we can make it look better and smell better, especially. And we can do sump pumps. We can put a sump pump in. If you got water down there, you need to get rid of it. We can add a sump pump down there or some tiling, whatever it needs to clean it up and make it look good. So when the home inspector comes in, he crawls down there and doesn't see any problems. Well, we've been doing some air testing for um, manufacturers down in Sydney. Uh, if they think there's a problem, it's best to call us and we can come down and, and do a mold score count. Just go around each room and check it. And So if your employees have a question whether there's mold in their office or in their work area, we can test it and, and give you a definitive answer. And if it comes back bad, we can do uh, further air testing, which we send to a lab so we can find out what kind it is. So give us an idea of where to look for it. Different kinds grow in different places. So um, it'd be a real good idea to have your workplace check. Just uh, have us come in and, and do some sampling. And if everything goes okay, everybody's happy. So. Okay, also in the agriculture part, you know, there's a lot of buildings, there's a lot of things that got water in them, and, and there's a lot of uh, just the buildings that the animals are raised in. Uh, you could actually use this Decon 5 for uh, uh, bacteria and viruses. So you could actually go in and fog your house whenever you're turning over a chicken house or pigs or anything. You can go in and uh, fog it with the Decon 5 to kill the bacteria and viruses. So it helps with any diseases that may be lingering in there. And it's basically just a fog that you can walk around and fog the area with. We, we've been doing this 21 years and there's been a lot of times that, you know, it felt good once we got the house cleaned out, put back together and everybody got moved back in because it's a real inconvenience when you got to go live somewhere else for a month or two to get it put back together. Sometimes worse than that, sometimes six months. So it, it really, uh, we really try to get in and get it done as fast as we can, but sometimes it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of doing to get it done. I have good employees and they go in and, and really get into tearing it out, get it all hauled out and, and treating it. And it, and it really, once you get done, it's a good feel that, that uh, you've got it all taken out, cleaned up, so that they can have a contractor come in and put it all back together and then get moved back in. And it makes everybody happy once you get back in the house or just getting it cleaned up, you know. Like this house, if we get it cleaned up, uh, the basement doesn't have to be redone to move back in. So uh, that's what we're concentrating on is getting the basement cleaned out, getting all the trim and everything wiped out so the people can get moved back in to put it back to normal, you know, that's, that's the thing. And that's what it means to me to protect their investment, protect their home. I mean, do some proactive stuff because a little proactive stuff could save you thousands and thousands of dollars just by finding a leak or finding a mold starting out somewhere where it's not that bad, where it can be cleaned up in a day. And, and so it's so much easier to have, do proactive testing, do proactive just inspection, just, uh, let me come in with a moisture probe and look around, make sure there's no, there's no moisture leaks that you, don't, you can't see. And that we see that all the time. Uh, ice maker refrigerator line, we gutted a whole kitchen because the refrigerator line was leaking, got under the laminate floor and ruined the cabinets. So they were without a kitchen for three months. So just a little proactive would help a lot. There's a area that I wasn't aware with uh, that somebody had called me about they were disinfecting boxcars with a really uh, harmful chemical, and which we, I think we could use this Decon 5 to do come up with the same result. We have a bacteria meter that we can run swabs after we're done to check for bacteria to make sure that we, you know, that, that did a job for that particular uh, situation. Um, there's a lot of things that, that can be done with this Decon 5 for bacteria and viruses because that in the farm uh, that's the big problem right now with with pigs and chickens and beef uh, so it you know if you have a question on it you can give me a call and and uh, we can talk it over and maybe uh, come up with a solution for you there's there's so many applications that can be done with this product that 
uh, I think if you can call me and we can talk to me and, and uh, see what the problem is and see if we can come up with the solution so that uh, it may help you and uh, your just your problems you have on the farm or in the workplace or wherever, um, you can call the office at 419-227-0303 and 03 is ozone, that's where that number come from. Or you can call my cell phone, 419-303-3754 and ask for Jerry. And uh, we can set up a time to talk and see if there's something we could do to, to help you out. Sinus problems and headaches? Have a sneaking suspicion there's mold lurking about? With over 20 years in business, you can trust the professionals at EarthSafe Ozone. They will test, inspect, and treat your home or office, eliminating mold, mildew, fungus, and bacteria. It's time to put an end to pesky mold. Call 419-227-0303 to schedule your mold spore test today.